The modern, self-service grocery store is so deeply ingrained in our day-to-day -day lives that it's easy to forget that Americans didn't always shop this way. A century ago, the task of buying food for your family underwent a radical revolution. This is the untold truth of Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly's concept was as inspired as its name. Both were the brainchild of Memphis businessman Clarence Saunders. He helped grow a couple of retail and wholesale grocery businesses before coming up with a brand new way to shop. In 1916, the rising cost of groceries was a problem. At the time, grocers went through the store themselves to fill a customer's order. Sometimes they even delivered the order to people's homes. Saunders worked out that prices were high because stores had too many employees, from clerks to delivery boys, who were paid to goof off whenever business was slow. Saunders thought, if customers could pick the groceries themselves, it would be a cheaper way to run a store, and the savings could be passed on to the customer. At the time, this self-service style of grocery shopping shopping was so new that Saunders needed to pitch the idea in newspaper advertisements. And then, the store had its grand opening on September 6, 1916. He touted the cost savings, the convenience, and the freedom found in the Piggly Wiggly shopping experience. No longer would clerks select stale items for customers or choose the most expensive. With freedom of choice as a selling point, Saunders stocked his first store with more than 1,000 different products, which was about four times as many as traditional stores at the the time. According to Time magazine, the self-service concept also brought with it shopping baskets, employee uniforms, and prices labeled on every item. A Piggly Wiggly in Oklahoma would roll out the first shopping cart in 1937. It had two shopping baskets, one above the other, and attached to a metal frame on wheels. The chain also introduced refrigerated cases and the business model of selling at a high volume with a low profit margin. Piggly Wiggly was also one of the first franchises to create TV commercials that clamored for customers' attention to purchase their goods. As Time magazine reported, self-service grocery shopping meant consumers could make decisions as to what it was they wanted to buy. And that really led to companies trying to catch consumers' attention. It's really the origin of branding. Saunders also innovated the impulse purchase by putting candy and other impulse items at the checkout stands. Saunders' new way to shop was tremendously successful. He had opened nine stores within his first year of business. Seven years in, Saunders led a $100 million company with 1,268 stores. Piggly Wiggly historian Mike Freeman, author of the book, Clarence Saunders and the Founding of Piggly Wiggly, describes Saunders as someone who liked a surprising turn of phrase over the bland. That might tell you everything you need to know about why Saunders chose the name Piggly Wiggly. He certainly wasn't going to give anyone a satisfying answer when asked about the name. He said once it was, quote, plucked from originality, and another time said it was, in his words, from out of chaos. Competitors laughed at the name, saying it brought to mind a, quote, carnival house for tots more than a grocery store. The Piggly Wiggly website claims the name came to Saunders on a train ride, when he looked out the window and saw several pigs trying to wiggle under a fence. In his book, Freeman speculated that Saunders may have been inspired by the old nursery rhyme that starts, Higgledy Piggledy, My Fat Hen. It's also possible that inspiration came from a regular feature in a Memphis newspaper titled Uncle Wiggly's Adventures. Freeman explains, Clarence Saunders had found a name so unique, everyone would remember it and identify it with him. All right. A Piggly Wiggly. And home. Nowhere else. Piggly Wiggly was born in the South in 1916, then grew so fast it was in every region of the U.S. by the end of 1918. By 1923, Piggly Wiggly was the third largest retail grocer in the U.S. The chain wasn't able to maintain its dominance for long, however. Piggly Wiggly stores were held by various franchise owners, and other big chains started buying them out. Safeway acquired more than 200 stores in California from the Piggly Wiggly Western States Company in 1929. Before that, Kroger had snatched up all the Piggly Wigglies in Memphis and Mississippi, plus several other stores in the Southeast. Kroger also took over the 31 Piggly Wigglies in Columbus, Ohio. Today, Piggly Wiggly's name is on a relatively modest 500 or so storefront in 17 states, and most of them are in the South. These numbers include stores operated by a separate company called Piggly Wiggly Midwest, which has 96 Piggly Wigglies in Wisconsin mainly. The Southern Piggly Wigglies are branded by parent company CNS Wholesale Grocers. 
Comedian and actor Bill Murray was just being his offbeat, goofy self when he was caught by TV cameras at a college basketball game in 2019 wearing a Piggly Wiggly trucker's cap. Murray calls South Carolina home, which has dozens of Piggly Wiggly stores, so the look actually made some sense. Piggly Wiggly's famous mascot is a pig donning a butcher's hat. Mr. Pig's face can be found on just about everything associated with Piggly Wiggly, including his namesake store brand soda. However, in 1998, he was redesigned to be a little bit thinner in order to improve his customer appeal. Piggly Wiggly embarked on its first national TV ad campaign in 1997. The ads came with the tagline, Down Home, Down the Street, which played up the chain's rural, small-town identity. The campaign was a response to the rise of large, impersonal superstores. Company president Larry Wright said at the time, There is a place in people's lives for a traditional supermarket, one that is friendly and convenient, like Piggly Wiggly. It's time to make the neighborhood store mean something again. CBS 42, in Birmingham, Alabama, interviewed a longtime employee during a report on a neighborhood Piggly Wiggly closing its doors. You know, we can't we can't keep up with the big boys, Publixes, Walmarts, whatnot. They they're able to offer more, but we like to pride ourselves in how we treat our customers. Mike Freeman tells it in his Piggly Wiggly history, the store's founder required employees to be courteous and polite in order to separate themselves from the unscrupulous grocers who still pulled items off the shelves for their customers and took advantage of them while doing it. Today, politeness and courtesy still define the Piggly Wiggly way of doing business. Except now, Piggly Wiggly is the old-fashioned one, trying to create some wiggle room for friendliness among the Publixes and Walmarts of the grocery world. Ah, oh, the Piggly Wiggly, I love the Piggly Wiggly. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more mashed videos about your favorite grocery stores are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.